Jeez, Christ, God, it's wet everywhere. <laughs> um, I kind of ask myself why I don't do this more often, to be honest, sometimes. I mean, I used to do this sort of thing a lot, like going out in the bush. And I just don't do it anymore. I don't know. Um, I don't know why. It's absolutely beautiful out here today. Um, haven't seen anything yet, though, but the scenery's nice and the weather's nice, so it's good enough for me, I suppose. Okay guys, there's these weird insects flying around and um, you probably hear them, quite noisy, <laughs> I don't know what they are, they sound like they've got squeaky wings though, it's kind of funny. Okay, it's starting to get in the middle of the day now and um, it's getting hot. <laughs> I'll check it guys, check out my mad view. Honestly, the camera doesn't really do it justice. It's actually a really nice view. Yeah, anyways, we'll push on. Okay, guys, so in case anyone's wondering where I'm actually heading to in this place, um, I'm heading to a place, sorry guys, I'm just trying to not walk through water while I'm talking, or fall off the cliff that I'm kind of standing on the edge of. Um, pretty much I'm heading to Kangaroo Creek, uh, so it's about a 10k walk roughly from memory. I've been here before but it's been a long time. So yeah, I have a swim in this creek, you can swim in it. I'm not swimming in it today, um, I don't have swimmers. <laughs> and it really, it's not hot enough for me to get wet, I mean it's hot but I don't know, I just don't feel like swimming today. But I have seen like water dragons and monitor lizards, they seem to come to this creek quite regularly to drink so be kind of nice to see a big monitor lizard. I've seen them here plenty of times before. Um, but I mean, they are kind of a territorial lizard, so they're kind of spaced out. They're not, you don't see many monitors in one space at a time. So it's not easy to find them. And monitors generally are very elusive. I mean, they're one of the more intelligent species of lizards. So yeah, they're one of the hardest to find. <laughs> uh, but I have seen them here before, so fingers crossed. And yeah, it is um, starting to get up to midday now, so it's getting hot. One other thing I'm noticing a lot here, um, Jackie Dragons, they're everywhere. <laughs> I probably won't be able to film one for you guys because, for starters, they're not very big. And by the time you see them, they're already running away. So I'll put a little picture somewhere here. So you guys know what they look like, um, but yeah, I never see them in time to film them. They're always, they're always like scurrying off by the time I've noticed them, and they are quite small. So when I get to the ones I'm seeing at the moment, uh, maybe 10 centimeters max. So maybe little, but they're absolutely everywhere. I actually used to have a Jackie Dragon as a kid, as a pet. So seeing them is kind of bringing back old memories, I guess. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ, I almost died. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm kind of walking on the edge of a cliff here. Um, and oh my god, it's getting hot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm sweating like a whore in church. Okay. Check out the mad view, guys. This place is huge. <laughs>
Well, we're pretty much here, guys. Um, as you saw, the creek runs a fair way. Um, the main big pool, I didn't really get to film much of it because there are actually people there swimming, so uh, I didn't really feel comfortable filming people there. Um, just don't want to film people swimming anyway. <laughs> but I'm basically following the river further up, seeing where that leads us to. Jeez, this goes on for ages, guys. Dude, there's a crush, there's a crayfish right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a crayfish right in that water. Let's see if I can catch him for you. Alright guys, so I've caught this crayfish and he is the most terrifying looking crayfish I've ever caught. Um, his claws are huge. I had to use a plastic bag to help catch him because he almost got me a few times, but anyways, I'll show you this guy real quick. He does not want to stop. <laughs> this crayfish is insane looking. Look at the spikes on him. He's nuts. Yeah, I've got no idea what sort of crayfish this is, by the way, guys. But he is fucking scary looking, eh? <laughs> Quite a wanderer. <laughs> and I can't grab him anywhere, he's literally covered in spikes. Oh, he nearly got me then. Alright guys, so, finally got this guy to sit still. He seems to be just sitting in the bag now, and you can have a better look at him. So yeah, I um, have absolutely no idea what type of crayfish or yabby this is. It's absolutely terrifying looking. I mean, just look at it. <laughs> it looks like a tank. It's just covered in spikes. It looks crazy. The yeah, under closer inspection though, I mean, you can probably even see on the camera, he's absolutely covered in parasites. There's leeches all over him. You can just see them wriggling around because of taking him out of the water. Just on, just behind his head, you can see there's a leech crawling around. This one's on his claws and everything, he's just covered in them. So, um, yeah, quite a shame he's covered in parasites, but I mean, I've never seen a crayfish like this in my life. I, yeah, and just trying to pick him up was incredibly hard. I mean, well, impossible. I couldn't pick him up. <laughs> he's just covered in spikes. Everywhere you grab, he gets stabbed, and they actually are really sharp. I got stabbed a few times just grabbing him. Taking that aside, look at those claws, they're huge. That would definitely do some serious damage. Anyways, I won't keep this guy um, out of the water for too much longer. I'll pop him back and uh, we'll carry on and see what else we can find. Alright guys, well, time to pop this very angry yabby back in where I found him. So, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and release him I suppose. I think he's going to sleep in the bag. Come on, wake up. Off you go. Oh, he's spike stuck in this. And he's away. <sighs> Tell you what, guys, just walking now. My hand actually kind of hurts. <laughs> After catching that yabby. Mainly because I had to grab him a couple of times, and as you saw, his body's just covered in spikes, and I actually got stabbed a few times, so... Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty good means of defense. It worked on me to an extent, so... But I've legit never seen a yuppie like that. 
I've, I'm going to look it up later as to what it is because that was just crazy. I've never seen one that looks so freaking badass. It was covered in spikes. It looked awesome. Check it out. More of these uh, whirling beetles. These whirling egg beetles are a type of water beetle. Carnivorous as well, so they eat like little insects that land on the surface and stuff like that. So yeah, they get about a centimetre to a centimetre and a half max size. Uh, this is the first time I've seen them in quite a few years. They're not the most, I guess, common insect around, at least not in my local wetlands, I never see them. So it's kind of nice to see them again. Okay, I found myself a little spot to chill out and eat. Got my cheese and bacon roll. And the Powerade. <laughs> and, um, got a pretty mad view, I'll show you this. This is what I get to look at while I eat. Check it out. I'm literally sitting in the middle of the river because there's like a little island here that I'm sitting on. You see, a little, little river island thingy that I'm sitting on. And, um, yeah, I get to look out into the river, which quite a nice little view here. Got a little bit of a stream going beside me there. It's kind of relaxing. So yeah, I'm gonna finish eating and then we'll head off. Okay, well, um, that's something you don't see every day. <laughs> nice little chill out cave, I guess. Well, that's it for me, guys. I'm heading out of here. It's starting to get late in the afternoon. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and a subscribe. Don't forget, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll leave a link down below for those. See you guys next video. Bye-bye.